Well, hello from Quarantine Land, aka El Paso, Texas. I'm gonna teach you how to make this. So a lot of people are making masks, good for you. Um, thing is, they're making a mask with the bras and they're taking out the wire. Well, we're here in El Paso, Texas. We are locked in, voluntarily still, but it's not good to go outside. So I'm thinking hardcore, uh, I cannot give to a craft store. I'm pretty sure Hobby Lobby has finally lost their battle and has to shut down. So if you're like me, you don't have the supplies, you don't have the office stores open, you need to make a mask, here you go. I made, I can make two masks out of each bra. The prettier the design, obviously, the prettier mask is going to be. And this is bare, bare essentials. So basically, I took a bra. You want the booby part. <laughs> You're going to keep your wire in. What I did was cut all the edges here. I cut the edges here. This is your wire. If you have one with a wire, it's preferable because you're going to need that. This is a hardcore padded bra. The more padding, I think you can get better. So if you have some of those fluffy Victoria's Secret push-up bras, this is the time to recycle them. Okay, you're going to need this strap right here. This is what made it so important for me and that wire part because with the wire, I can bend it to where I need it around the nose and it covers the nose. I'll show you in photos. Um, all I did was literally cut around the edges, cut this wire off, or cut this elastic off because it is in a way that it's to hold your boobs in, not to hold your face on. So you're going to cut this off. I'm not going to do it because I only have one hand and no stand. <laughs> so you see it here. What I did was go in and make sure the wire was rounded, well rounded, uh, we all have different face shapes, so you're going to have to go in and kind of mess with it a little bit to get this part where your nose is to an angle that is good for you. I have a big nose, so here it is. <laughs> and then you're going to conform this part of the wire uh, more inwards towards your face. That way it can hold it for you. Um, I am still going to go back and sew this in just a little, but if you don't have a way to sew, you can also staple the ends or you can glue it on. I have Fabri-Tac, which is freaking awesome. Thank you, DIY Designer, for that. Um, basically, I cut a tiny little hole only in the first surface of the fabric because it's a very thick padding there. I don't want to go through the padding, but I wanted it through the upper fabric. And then I reinforced it by putting the hook in. This is great. This is where it's great to have these kind because you can unhook them and then put it inside the top layer of the fabric and sew it in. I sewed mine like hand sewed really really deep in there because I want to be sure that it stays. It's going to have a lot of pressure on it. I sewed it on the top part so that it actually holds the mask onto my face. If you put it on the under part it may put a gap right in here and you don't want that. You don't, you want to keep out as much as possible. So if you don't have that you can just sew the elastic to the top part um, and that'd be fine too. So I've sewn that in. What's great about these is guess what? It's adjustable. <laughs> so no matter what size your head is, you put this thing on and readjust it. Um, the way that I have it sewn right now it's just below chin level. Um, instead of going on the ears or over the ears, my mom has a hard time with this. Many seniors will because they don't really like putting things over their fancy hairdos. So this is great for that. I am still going to make another that just has the ears. Um, but yeah, this is pretty much what I've done. So you just sew it on there on the outside. That way it holds it in. And then you put this on, you adjust it, and there you go. Which as you can see, there's the nose part. Do not take out your metal. That way you can use that to your advantage. 
And like I said, this is bare necessity. If you can't get to the fabric store, you don't want to wait two or three weeks. You've got to go to the grocery store today and you need a mask. Here you go. There's plenty of fabric in there. Heavy, hardcore padding. It's washable. It'll be durable if you hand sew it or even if you just put the straps in there and like I said with the hook or make a hook adjuster on there you can wash every part of this and you can put like if you really decided to put a filter you could cut this open or make an extra patch and put a filter in there but you can make two masks right here boom there you go two people less than five ten minutes of your life and you've got two sturdy masks that can help you out in a situation and this is good too just in case there's like a really bad sandstorm or something we have a lot of those here um, it'll help you I mean these masks obviously we can't get a hold of the real stuff because they're just out of stock but this will help you this will protect your face your nose your mouth when you're out there shopping if you have to and as you see it's kinda cool looking there's some nice patterns there maybe I could keep going to make some gothic designs on these <laughs> There you go with your boob tube mask. This is Leslie signing off. Be safe. Stay home if you can. If you can't, be careful. Okay, so early we made this one. This is one bra. Keep in mind, one bra. You don't have access to stores with supplies. You can't wait two weeks first shipments to arrive. This is literally one bra padding. I just cut off the edges. I reinforce this because they are hooks on the outside. Hello Mia. Would you like a mask? <laughs> and then it has an adjustable strap so it's great. She said yes she does. I forgot to mention how to do this part. But I'm going to add it now. Basically, when you've trimmed off your edges, you straighten your wire just to be sure there's not like some bends. You know, I machine wash most of the time, but sometimes I don't, and they get bends. So literally, you're just going to take it out, straighten it out, and then fold it in half. That will ensure that you get the nose part. At this point, you're going to have to try it on and see how you want this curvature for your nose to fit you the best. Um, I still went in and bent this, it's hard to do with one hand, but bent it inwards so that it's facing your face. That way it ensures that it's pretty much going to be facing your face. And you can keep adjusting it to get it where you like it, but you can see now it goes strictly that way and not outwards or whatnot. You know, we're constantly adjusting that mess anyway. Um, I am considering going back and pinching this a little because it is a little big for my face. It's a bigger size than I usually have. Probably the bigger the bras, the better coverage you're going to get. But you got to keep in mind the size of your face, too. <laughs> you don't want to go grab, a, I don't know, triple D or something and then not be able, you know, you cover your whole face. Okay, so what I did was sew the strap on the outside. I was thinking about it right now. I did cut off the strap of this one so it's shorter. You could actually use this part too. I mean it's strapped by hooks or if you have any leftover fabric, even this piece right here, you could use it to do that. Just so one side to the other. It is elastic inside. It will stretch and it's pretty durable. They've got a good stitch on that. Um, or you can actually sew this part and this part and you can hook it and unhook it at the end. Um, another method that I've actually seen uh, with actual mask, like medical mask, is you could put a hook here on the top. This actually becomes like two. Hold on. Okay. This can actually, once it's fully extended, become two. Some medical masks actually have a connection at the top. And then it splits off into like a double on top of your head. And then you would still need to have another piece of elastic or something that hooks side to side. Hold on, love. Hold on. Can you say hello? Good girl. I'll be right with you. So basically, you would have a strap over your head and from side to side. And that would be adjustable as well. That's just another method. These are just a couple extra ideas 
um, to help you if you have absolute basic supplies it's just more of a way to do it if you don't like this strap being under the neck or under the ears um, which I've conformed to just because it's so hard to get my mom to put a mask on over and uh, between the ears it's just so hard for her um, I am going to make another method where you can actually separate this into two separate straps and you could I know you want a mask I know hold on but you could make it into two straps and put it around the ears and then if you have a hard time putting them around your ears you can still strap something to the back to hold them together but that's what we got for now I've got a puppy crawling up my legs so I'm gonna need to take care of her first are you hungry are you hungry say I'm hungry yeah I know all right, then. You want to go outside? <laughs> no, she doesn't. Are you hungry? You want to go make a taco? Taco? Or do you want hamburger? 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 Are you sure? Hamburger. Hamburger. Say hamburger. Hamburger. There you go. See you later.